Welcome back to my channel. Hi, this is Arlena with Gibson Artscape. I'm finally doing a paint and sip. If you haven't been to my channel before, make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification button so you can see when we have new videos coming up. Um, and I for Valentine's Day and it is entitled Heart's Dream. So let's get our stuff and get started. So for today's painting, we're going to be going ahead and use a 12 by 16 canvas. We'll be using red, violet, cadmium yellow, and white. And then later on in the video, we're going to go ahead and add some black in. For our brushes, we're going to be using a one inch flat brush for our large brush. We'll be using a number 14 for our medium brush and a number zero for our small brush for details. Other things you're going to need, um, paper towels, a cup of water, and today, because I'm not feeling well, I'm going to be drinking water. It's in my wine glass. The water I'm drinking today is the Mountain Pure Valley spring water. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our large brush and we're gonna add red. And we're gonna go about a third of the way down with just the red using our large brush. You can uh, dip your large brush in the water in order to loosen up the paint a little. and. Basically, you're going to just take the red about a third of the way down and then um, we'll mix a little yellow and red together to create a darker orange. You're going to put that as your next uh, level of color for your sunset. Uh, continue adding water to loosen up the paint and this, uh, spread it across the canvas. in your brush you want to just grab up maybe a little bit of the pure yellow just the cadmium yellow and you're going to start going across with that one um you should be about at the halfway point for this one again add in that water um in with the the yellow just to loosen up the paint a little bit again without cleaning your brush you want to grab up some white and you're going to mix that with the yellow and you're going to take it the rest of the way down so you get a really light colored sunset towards the bottom. Again, continue adding that water to loosen up your paint and just take it all the way to the very bottom of the canvas. Continue adding water and going over the surface until you get a nice smooth canvas. Once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and pause the video here. Let your canvas dry. In order to speed up the process, you can use a fan or even a hair dryer. Or you can just enjoy your drink and socialize. Okay, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your drink and socializing with whoever you're painting with. Um, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our medium brush. We're gonna add some yellow to that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some clouds. So basically you just wanna take the brush and tap it around in different angles until you get like kind of a random shape for a cloud. You don't wanna like do circles or anything. You want it to look kind of natural. So just pat the brush around until you get a shape that feels like a cloud to you and that you're happy with. And um, make a few of those. Using the same medium brush, we're gonna add some red and yellow together to kind of make a darker orange. And we're gonna give our clouds just a little depth. So just go in with the same motion, just tapping the color around so you get a really nice shape for your cloud. And I'll just go ahead and zoom in here just so you can see what I'm doing. Just adding a little bit of red in there, you know, just to give it a little depth. Now we're going to go ahead and get our small brush and make some detail. I'm just going to add some red on there. Let me zoom in and just show you how I'm going to, you know, just put a little darker base on some of the clouds um, just so they don't look so flat. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in again so you can see that I'm just making details, just tapping the brush here or there. Kinda of do this little thing where I twirl it in my hands uh, back and forth and it kinda of makes like more of a wiggly line that looks more natural. Okay, without letting this area dry, we're gonna get our medium brush, add some yellow to it, and we're just gonna pull out from the top of the clouds just to kind of make like those little rays of sun uh, shine you see kind of shining through a cloud. And I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about there. Once you're done making your little rays of sun, it would be another good time to pause, let your canvas dry, socialize, refill your cup, and we'll be back in a minute. Cheers! Okay, welcome back. We're grabbing our medium brush and we're going to add some violet to that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this along the canvas and we are going to make a little mountain ridge, like kind of shadowed mountain. So just take your brush and wiggle it across the bottom um, portion of the canvas until you get a shape that feels like a nice little mountain range to you. Okay, once you're happy with your mountain range, you just want to add some water to your brush and then go across the bottom and kind of blend it out so it blends smoothly into the bottom portion of the canvas. Alright, now we're going to 
grab our small detail brush we're going to add some yellow to it and let's go ahead and just make a sun right above our mountain ridge so you want to create a half circle um and then you want to add a little white to it just to kind of brighten up the sun Just zoom in here so you can see a little bit of the detail on that sun. It doesn't have to be perfectly blended, just slightly blended. Again, we want to go ahead and let that dry. Cheers. Okay, we're back. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Again, this is Gibson Artscape, and we are doing our paint and sip. What we're going to attempt to do now is add some flowers. So this should be interesting. So I'm just going to do like four or five little lines with our medium brush. And I'm going to do those in the violet color. So you just want to spread them out so they kind of look like the bloom of a flower. I think we're going to go ahead and do three maybe four flowers here so the goal is to make it look like the flowers are in the foreground and the landscape is in the background so go ahead and create four flowers and then we are going to add in our black and we're going to create a shadow stem coming down from the flowers so just put a stem down from each of the flowers that you make using your de small detailed brush and the black paint. So at the last minute here, I decided to make a closed flower. You don't have to add this one, but you know, my heart just spoke to me and it was like, just a little tiny one that's closed so I went ahead and made a stem and created just kind of like a oval shape to be one of the flowers but just closed like a little baby flower In retrospect, I kind of wish I had made palm trees, but I was committed to the flowers. Anyway, grab your large flat brush and you're going to add some black and you're going to create your heart here. So you just are going to go completely over your sunset with the heart so that way your sunset ends up peeking through um, the heart shape. So do that with your black paint. Um, you can make the heart as big. Um, fat small wide however you want to make it and then um on the outside of the heart that's where you're going to start filling in the black paint and you're just going to cover all around the edges with the black paint so only the inside of the heart is open
Okay, welcome back. We're now going to grab some white on our dried canvas and we're just going to start tapping the white and it's going to make this cave-like feature almost. Um, so you don't want the smooth lines of your heart. You want the heart to have kind of like a jagged type of line. I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. How I'm taking the white and kind of just like what we did with the clouds. I'm just tapping it around the bottom edge, giving it some texture. Continue tapping this white in all around the bottom edge of the heart. Now we're going to add some black to our brush and we're going to go in and finish tapping out to kind of roughen up those uh, smooth lines of our heart. I don't know if roughen up is a word, but that's what we're going to do. Clean off the medium brush and go just below the mountain ridge and make some lines to create a reflection in the water. You want to do that with the purple um, because it's reflecting the mountain. Now grabbing your small detailed brush, add some white to it and we're just going to make some highlights along the edges of the flowers so that way they're not just this flat dark purple surface. So just uh, follow the same pattern you did with the, the flower petals, only using the white small detailed brush. And just like that, we are done. Thank you for hanging out with Gibson Artscape. Hope you enjoyed your paint and sip. Got to socialize and just have a really good time for the month of February, whether you're doing this because or for Valentine's Day. Bye, everybody.